so fired up for today's show. We have so much to get into. Yes, Thank you do. for starting your week with us. Welcome into First Take. Skip Bayless, Stephen A. Smith, Molly Karam here with you. Gentlemen, I, I, good morning. Listen, I, I respect you for just showing up today. I'm impressed. Way well, to go. I, well, I'm not you. Huh? You got I'm, courage. I, I, I'm not you. I get my comeuppance today. Mm. This was not a good week for me. Oh. So I have to come in here and eat crow on yeah. several, several. W will you shake He might have got a couple first, right. That, thank you. I really didn't want to. All right, I know. But I will. I know that. you didn't. You got you me did today. That. You got that, me today. All right, I got it. All right, here we go. I got you it. had a good week. But how about Except them cowboys? We'll get into them in just a bit. And, of course, Dez as well. But first, let's focus on the battle of undefeateds. The Broncos' defense, reminiscent of the Orange Crush, made the Packers' offense look pedestrian with a 29-10 to win in mile high. Skip, was this more about Denver's defense or Aaron Rodgers? Oh, Wait a second. Stephen A. Smith, I, I got my... My stats here, mm -hmm. and, and it, my stats say, did, wait, did, did, did I fall asleep and dream that Aaron Rodgers had a grand total of 77 yards pass? 70, yeah. can I repeat that again? Yeah. 77 yards passing. So once again, we last go. night, the bad man was just bad. In fact, he was beyond bad. He, he was horrible, the bad man was. I, I got to say this, because this was my final thought at the end of that game last night. For once, Aaron Rodgers looked more like Mr. Rodgers. He really did. The Denver Broncos made Aaron Rodgers look like Mr. Rodgers. Who knew? Who would have thought? And I'm going to ask you again, as I sit here and ask you week after week, when are you and all those blind Aaron Rodgers worshipers out there, most of you in Packer Nation, when are you going to wake up? And when are you going to realize that the bad man just is not that good, especially when it matters most? Now, again, for perspective, the bad man did go on one miraculous road team playoff run, a wild card run through the playoffs that consisted of winning at Michael Vick in Philadelphia when he was really shaky, at Matt Ryan when he was really shaky, and then at Jay Cutler when he wound up on the bicycle in the second half. Your favorite game off which to ridicule Jay Cutler. Those are the three games Aaron Rodgers won to get to a Super Bowl in which Troy Polamalu was not able to run on his bad hamstring, and during which Aaron Rodgers' defense was sensational and did a number on Big Ben in that Super Bowl. So that was a long time ago. And since then, your man Aaron Rodgers is 2-4 and four in the postseason. And as of last night, Aaron Rodgers on the road in primetime games, nighttime games, mm -hmm. he fell to 3-9 and nine on the road, primetime, 3-9 yeah. and nine for the bad man who was just bad. So the point is, he can front run at Lambeau Field. We know that. And most of their games are at Lambeau Field because they play about three quarters of their, their games at home. But you make him play away under the lights, and Aaron Rodgers melts. And, and, real, and look, I, I realize the Denver Broncos have the best pass rush in pro football. There's no doubt about that. But again and again, Aaron Rodgers' offensive line did give him enough time to stand in the pocket and make one read and throw it to one receiver just the way Tom Brady is constantly forced to do behind that makeshift, least experienced in the NFL offensive line of New England's. But again and again, Aaron Rodgers stood behind his offensive line and he tap danced like the late Greg oh. Gregory Hines. He did, he <laughs> tap danced. They kept him in the pocket, they would not let him loose. And he tap danced like the late Great, Gregory Hines. I've never seen anything like it before. Aaron Rodgers does not belong in the same sentence with Tom Brady. So I strike the sentence I just uttered because it doesn't count. He doesn't belong in that sentence. Last night, Aaron Rodgers was badly outplayed by a washed up, quote unquote, Peyton Manning, who, by the way, looked a whole lot like Peyton Manning to me, as I keep telling you. I think he's just fine. So. Bad indeed, Stephen A. Smith. What do you have to say for yourself? Well, I'm willing to concede it was a god-awful night uh, by the Green Bay Packers. Could y'all turn that video off, please, while I'm talking? <laughs> Let me be very, very clear. Uh -huh. It was a very bad night yeah. by the Green Bay Packers. Yeah. They were absolutely pathetic and god-awful. They got completely outplayed and embarrassed on national television. 
All of that is true. But Skip Bayless, I'm here to tell you I am not willing to concede what you have conceded about mm -hmm. that bad man that is Aaron Rodgers, mm -hmm. who undoubtedly had the worst night mm -hmm. I've ever seen him have in all my years of watching him. There is no question about that. It was anemic. It was pathetic. It was awful. He passed for 35 yards, I think 37 yards, I'm sorry, in the first half. He only attempted 12 passes in the first half. Mm -hmm. He finished the game only attempting 22 passes, completing 14 for 77 yards. All of those things were embarrassing. But unlike you, who sits there and uses every little nugget that you can to mm. just jump on the people that you want to jump on mm. while you try to defend the people that you mm. want to defend, okay. I'm going to sit here and be <laughs> fair. Oh, okay? you are. I'm going oh, to be fair. fair and oh. just. And, and I'm going to be fair Like and you are honest, when my Cowboys and, lose. Uh, and yes. Un, yes, and that unbiased. Kind of fair. And I'm, yes. Well, I'm a, I'm, yes. I, I, I'm a Steelers fan, first okay. of all, and I root for the New York teams. I don't root for Green Bay. I root for Aaron Rodgers. I realize Let me that. be very, very clear. Skip Bayless, I think you're being grotesquely unfair Grotesque. because I don't think that you are taking into account what this man had to work with. First of all, yes, Denver had three sacks. Yes, Denver jumped out to a 17-0 lead. Therefore, they could take chances. They could go at him all night long, and there was little to nothing he could do. You know why? Because I don't care how great of a quarterback he is. When you have guys in Randall Cobb and Starks who cannot get open, and don't get me started with Richard Rodgers. You Randall had, Cobb can't you, get open? You, they didn't get open. They weren't getting open last night. Well, what now, if they got open quickly? I let you talk. I let you talk. I didn't say a word. I let you go on your little look. I didn't say a word. I sat here, I sat here and I took it. All yeah. right? The Denver Broncos are number one in points allowed, number one in yards allowed, number one in pass yards allowed. They have the elite defense in the game. Meanwhile, Green Bay's defense, which I continuously lament, I have repeatedly told you I didn't trust. You even brought up the fact that how they played over the first game. I said it means nothing to me. I do not trust that defense. Gave up 500 plus yards to this offense. Gave up 160 yards to a Russian attack. They hadn't done that in the first six games of this season. You look at what transpired last night. And Aaron Rodgers had to go up against an elite defense. And Peyton Manning did not. Aaron Rodgers had guys who could not get open. He was back there, he was scrambling in the pocket, running for his life, and guys still couldn't get open, even after he created time and space for them to do it. So in the end, all I learned from last night, regardless of what you want to say about Aaron Rodgers, all I learned last night is the absence of Jordy Nelson, what that means to this mm. team, the fact that he doesn't have enough weapons, the fact that their defense isn't much to brag about by any stretch of the imagination. Mm -hmm. You combine all of that with the IQ of a Peyton Manning, a running game that showed up against that suspect defense, mm -hmm. a secondary which, by yep. the way, is unquestionably the best in the NFL right now. Mm -hmm. We've been talking about the New York Jets. We'll get into them a little bit oh, later on will. in the show. Mm -hmm. But the bottom line is Aqib <laughs> Tlaib and Chris Harris together. Mm -hmm. I mean, you have basically gone about the business. With Wade Phillips as his defensive coordinator, because we all know whereas we have questions about Wade Phillips, mm -hmm. the head coach, there is no question about him as a defensive coordinator. Mm -hmm. You look at what that secondary is able to do. Denver's got the best secondary in the NFL. Mm. That is what Aaron Rodgers went up against last night without, with devoid of the weapons he needed. Guys couldn't get open. But ultimately, he's the quarterback, he's the star of the franchise, and he looks every bit as bad as everybody else because the sun shines and sets with him in Green Bay. Mm. It is what it is, period. Mm. Green Bay, to me, I, I just wasn't impressed. Okay, now I'm going to remind you, Green Bay's defense came into this game last night ranked number one in the NFL in points allowed. Right. Remember? Yes. Okay, so you can't tell me that Green Bay's defense is all that. Well, when, who had they gone I mean, against, Skip? Broncos were... What's that? Who had they gone against? That was my issue with Green Bay. I didn't think much of them is all I'm trying to say to you. I'm just, I've never been sold to them. I think everything about Green Bay, all right, with the exception of Shields making a play here or there, or ha-ha Clint Dix, the bottom line is it's about Clay Matthews and whether or not he can get to the quarterback. If he can't do it, you don't hear much about anything from Green Bay's defense. They usually don't break, but they bend an awful lot. And against somebody like Peyton Manning, they're going to break. In the end, this 
defense got exposed big time. That's what happened last night more than anything. The offense, look, man, you've got a guy in Starks, for example. You just look at him. I'm sorry, Joe. You just look at these guys with the Giants, with the Oakland Raiders, couldn't last. Everybody was making a big deal about what he was going to do when he was with Green Bay. What has happened? Couldn't get open last night. Mm -hmm. Randall Cobb had six receptions. He could barely do but so much because they were able to yep. key on him. You're limited. It's just that simple. Mm. You're just limited. So I remind you, James Jones came into this game leading the NFL right. in touchdown mm -hmm. catches. I Am I right about that? Yes. I and I'm not sure what happened last night, but what do you mean you're not he sure? Caught, he caught oh, wait, one wait, ball wait, wait, for wait, two wait, yards. Wait a minute. One ball don't for don't two lie yards. to the American public. Okay, you I, know too much here, football not point. to know what happened to them you, defensively. You cannot give this quarterback a pass for what happened. Again and again, he had a first look. He had time. But the point yeah. was that the bully got bullied because at home, Aaron Rodgers front runs on everybody. And if you do let him get out of the pocket, he will run it down your throat and throw it down your throat. But they kept him in the pocket. They made him take a first look and... He choked. He, he's, he's like, you know, double clutching because he's not Tom Brady. Tom Brady gets rid of it in 2.5 seconds every play. He picks out a receiver that's going to be open before the snap, and he says, boom. And all I'm saying, boom. And all I'm saying to you is the operative phrase there is, who are going to get open. Mm -hmm. There was nobody open oh, oh, for okay. Green Bay last night. That's what I'm trying to say. Are you trying to tell me, because I know how meticulous you watch football games, but I also I, know I how saw, duplicitous you can be because you'll understand. say what you want to say to make your point and you'll ignore other facts. You're at trying to tell point, me you saw Green Bay Packers receivers open? Did you at, see at, re at, here's receivers what I saw. open last night? I saw, Did you see receivers I, yes, open? I saw Randall really? Cobb finally catch a ball and look up like, I've been open. Like he's looking really? around like, I've been really? open. Really? Find me. Really? I've been open. Really? Aaron. I, I've, been, I've been open. Mr. Find Rogers. Me against find the me, Mr. Lee Rogers. And Chris Harris. Yeah. Really? Yeah. You, you sure about that? You I, know hey, better. You, you know better. You know there what? was nobody open. I was cannot nobody. wait for November 29th when Tom Brady visits yes. that same stadium that we were watching mm -hmm. in last night. Okay. Because Tom Brady will not have these issues against that defense. I'm not saying he'll pick it to pieces, but trust me, I I'll bet you right now, he's Tom Brady throw throws for more than he's 77 gonna, yards. We're going to discuss that one later. Tom, we, we will discuss it later, but Tom Brady will have 77 yards in warm-ups, in pregame warm-ups. He will have 77. I would like to remind you, he oh. does have somebody by the name of Rob Gronkowski. Mm -hmm. And when you have the best tight end in football mm -hmm. who forces you to suffocate the middle to some degree and you can't cheat on the outside the way you can against most teams, mm -hmm. that does go a, a mighty okay. long way. And I'm not taking away anything from Amendola or Julian Edelman because I know that they played effectively with Tom Brady as their quarterback. What I'm saying to you is this. That's an elite weapon to have. A matter of fact, we've debated about Peyton Manning. You know, Owen Daniels and Green showed up at the tight end spot yesterday, but yep. they were missing in action the first six games, okay? Mm -hmm. So a lot of people felt that that had something to do with what it served yep. to neutralize Denver's offense. Having an elite tight end helps. Having Julius Thomas all of those years helped Peyton Manning. That not having him has affected Peyton Manning. You're Tom Brady and you have Rob Gronkowski. That goes a mighty long way. Who the hell does Aaron Rodgers have? Richard Rodgers. Sounds like a daggone burger for crying mm. out loud. I mean, are you, you kidding me? I don't want to hear that. Like you Roy know? Rogers? Yes, yeah, sir. Okay. Like, Roy, like Roy Rogers. Like, like, Roy, like, like a burger joint. I meant right, a burger, but a burger joint. Okay. I meant a burger yeah. joint. Okay. But what I'm saying to you is that that's Sounds what like you a have. Composer to me. Yeah, something like right. that. Well, it sounds like okay. a burger joint to yeah. me. But well, it's like, we're both here. That's, that's, that's what you yeah. have. Yeah. That's what you have available to you. Again, this is not the day for me to make a case for Aaron Rodgers. He got beat down last time. I've never seen him look that bad. It wasn't a beautiful day in the neighborhood. I haven't seen him. <laughs> that's, I, right. that's right. Wasn't a touché. beautiful day. Touche. Yeah. Yes. Was, Thank listen, you. I have not seen Aaron Rodgers look that bad. Mm -hmm. But I also didn't receive, didn't see any receivers open. And oh, I think that had okay. a lot to do with it. it I really do. do with it? I really believe that. Yeah, and Tom Brady has who to, to get deep? Who, who's their oh, deep? Wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. Again, help me out, no, help no. me out. Once again, once again. Who gets again, deep for Tom well, Brady? You know, who spreads the, who, who, who stretches the defense? Well, again, Nobody. if you have a Rob Gronkowski forcing you to oh. sandwich and suffocate mm. the middle, okay. then you can do other things because Rob Gronkowski demands that kind of attention. Even on guys that are not sticking him, they constantly have to keep an eye. They can't take their eyes off of him. They can't let him leave their sights because he's that lethal. And that does open things but up. I, I, Ask 
Edelman, ask okay. Amendola, well, wait a ask second. LaFell, who, missed, who dropped so many passes, at least over the last two weeks. Ask them what Rob Gronkowski does for them. We are talking about the guy that you say is the greatest quarterback in the history of the NFL. You've never seen anything I like said, him before. I have said to you, I have never seen a quarterback more talented than Aaron Rodgers. And I sit here today and still say that. It's still a bad say that. night. I've okay. never seen a quarterback how more talented you, than him. How can him. you throw for 77? Well, because guys couldn't get open. Oh, okay. Guys couldn't get open against the number one defense with the number one secondary mm. in all of the NFL. If he's that great, he could. He could listen, listen. You have, said, you have said Akeem Tlaib is great during the regular season. You worry about his durability and his reliability come postseason time. You've, you've praised Chris Harris. We know how elite those dudes are. With the T.J. Ward and the rest of the crew up in there, look, they can ball, man. Their defense is no joke. And now that they've got Wade Phillips, that helps even more. I mean, Gary Kubiak's got to be the luckiest man on the planet. Mediocrity in Houston, coaching the team, and you land in Denver with that. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's unbelievable. Okay. I, I, yeah, listen, listen, only in America, but it is what it is. Okay. Aaron Rodgers got beat down last, last night. Last two quick points. Okay. Tom Brady throws open his receivers. That's what Aaron Rodgers should have done last night. And number two, we got to give a quick point of order here that, that Peyton Manning was special last night. You got to give that yes, up, right? Yes, absolutely. He absolutely. was just special. He to, was. To complete six out of nine he from 15 yards he, farther. He was, he was, but again... Green Bay's defense never moved. You talk, we talked about it last week when you talked about how the numbers show that they were. I said, Skip, this is not an elite defense. You see them bending a lot. They can be exposed. And every time they go up against a big-time team, they get exposed. The de it's okay, always Rodgers coming to save the you day. You did think that Green Bay could go in there and win. I thought okay. Aaron Rodgers right. could go in there and win. Rodgers has now lost nine straight on the road against teams with winning records. To Skip's point, his last win was December 16th, 2012 at the Bears. You talk about boom, boom. We had a lot of that in this next one. Plenty.